Aloha, my friends. Oh, excuse me. What if there was a place we went to uh, let's say it's a club a club and you go to the window of the club and you check in your consciousness and you give you give them your consciousness and say uh, I'd like you guys to hold this for me for a while while I go inside your club and then you go on inside the club and everybody in the club thinks the same thing and acts and responds the same way to everything We would probably call this club, you know, a cult or a religion, because that's pretty much how they work. But that's that's what goes on with these movements, and the ma the master manipulators. They're masters, master manipulators. They've been doing it for a long time. <clears throat> and so even though a group cause might start out well-intentioned and all that, it's going to get hijacked by the master manipulators. And then everybody in that club or in that group or in that cult or in that religion is going to get manipulated and this is also known as a uh, group think group think and group think is a, is a bad idea bad idea because once you check your consciousness in at that window then you're subject to the group and and it's group think and so they might start thinking something or believing something or doing something that you never would have done or, th or thought or believed but now you're under the influence of group think and so you mindlessly go along with it because you're not You've checked your consciousness in at the window. So you're not even really fully conducting yourself. So let's, you know, let's think of, uh, I'd like to give you some current events. I'd like to give you some current examples of current events, but... We're in a politically corrected world where people can, uh, you know, take what you say out of context, twist it up, and make it to be something it's not. So, I just, I'll stick with, uh, you know, older examples. Because it's still, excuse me, I'm a little bit tired. Pulled a 14-hour day yesterday and... Uh, it's just been kind of hot and rainy, and so, you know, it kind of makes you want to sleep sometimes. But, uh, <clears throat> let's, uh, you know, let's take uh, the group think uh, religion. We'll just pick Christianity since I was in that group at one time. And... You know, uh, you would have... Let's say they decided to bring back sacrifices of animals or something. Because they even talk about this sometimes. They A lot of people, a lot of them believe that at some point, you know, 
the temple will be restored and, you know, they'll go back to slaughtering animals to appease the deity. As though this is a good idea. But see, they're under the influence of groupthink. If you weren't under the influence of groupthink, you would never think, yeah, let's take that cute little baby goat or... Let's even, let's take, let's take animals that they probably didn't take, you know, like, uh, like house cats or, or a dog. Let's take the, the, you know, your pets. Let's take your pets because that means more to God. See how they could twist it up on you? They could, they could twist it up and say, well, you know, you just any old animal, that doesn't really mean that much. God wants to know that you're really committed to him. And so, therefore, you must bring in one of your pets. And so you have to bring documentation with you and pictures, and you have to prove that this was your pet. And then they, when, when they're satisfied that you've proved that this was actually your pet, then they take it up on the altar, cut its throat, and let it bleed to death there on the altar to appease the deity. Now, you would think anybody that thought that that was a good idea is a nutcase, right? But they were doing similar stuff back in the day. And everybody in the, under the influence of group think thought that it was a good idea. And if they ever bring that stupid shit back, they'll be under the influence of group think again. And they'll think that that's a good idea again. Or ratchet it up to the level I just gave you an example and think that that's a good idea. It's all terrible idea. It's all group think. It's all mind control. It's you acting without your own consciousness. Because if you were, if you had not checked your consciousness in at the window of group think to be in whatever club, you would have never, ever thought that that was a good idea. All right, now just bring that over into today where we've got uh, groups and movements. And see, the master manipulators want everybody to be in a group think mode of operation. Then they can just stay sitting back, sipping their wine in their bunkers while we all police each other through the mechanism of groupthink. Because it's, it's psychological. It's mental, psychological. So, if the group thinks that you should or should not do or say or feel or express a certain thing, then you're not going to express it let me turn on the car and put this phone in front of this AC because my phone is prone to overheating. Sorry about the view, it's just going to have to be crappy because I'm attempting to not get cut off again. Hopefully this will work here. Uh, so they they don't have to do very much. All they have to do is use the psychological warfare and let us police each other and silence each other to where, you know, people will get stupid really quick. And I'm sure you've probably seen a lot more than I have because I really don't watch it. But I did catch a video where some police and maybe some other people were... And I don't remember now. I, I just don't give it much time or attention. But somebody was washing somebody's damn feet. And somebody was repenting on behalf of a bunch of other somebodies. And they were doing this publicly. So it's public shaming. So that's, that's a product of group think, where because one person did something, the whole group of people are now, you know, shameable, or what have you. So it, it's crazy. It's crazy. And it's also third density consciousness, or like I said, these people have checked their consciousness out, 
and given it over to somebody else to watch for them. Here, could you could you uh, put this in a safety deposit box for me? And trust that that will be done, but instead of doing that, they went and hooked a bunch of wires to it and began downloading all kinds of spyware and malware and thisware and thatware while you were unaware. So the, 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 what's the answer to all this? What's the solution? Easy, easy. Self-governance, that's the answer. Individuality, that's the answer. Be an individual. You don't have to subscribe to a group. Now there might be things in the group, even this group, or that group, or whatever, that I might agree with. But I don't need to check my consciousness out and join the group. Got a squirrely crossing the road over. Hurry up, squirrely. Hurry up. Go. Get on across, buddy. All right. Uh, being an individual. See, they don't want that. They don't want that. They don't want self governance. They don't want that. They don't want conscious people. This is a war on consciousness. They know we've upgraded to 4 and 5D. They knew that this was coming, just like we that knew this was coming knew. And so this is really a war on consciousness. This is really a, an attempt to keep the status quo going and keep business as usual business as usual couldn't can't we just stay in the uh, the ignorant bliss of the 70s 80s 90s etc can't we just go back to that no we can't we can't and we shouldn't because blissful ignorance is still ignorance And it's time for humanity to <clears throat> come out of its ignorance and uh, <clears throat> the deep sleep that we were in allowed us to become quite ignorant and be uh, dictated to like sheeple and herded like uh, cattle and sometimes slaughtered like pigs. Okay, but we're beyond that now. So all the unraveling is just their density coming apart. It's the old status quo crap that's no longer going to flush and no longer going to fly coming apart. And see, the people that are still in 3D well, you hear them all over, I'm sure. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, the world is this. Oh, it's this. It's, it's, it's all negative. It's all bad. It's all, you know, apocalyptic, end of the world, terrible. So what do you want to do? You want to go back to the 80s? The blissful ignorance of the 80s? Where, you know, it was pretty much all about materialism and feeling good and partying and having everything and the economy's great and we're in this bubble of blissful ignorance and we get herded like sheep, but we don't know that, so it's okay. Well, no. No, that's not, that's not why you're here. That's not why we came here. So that is no, uh, that's unacceptable. Do, do certain people have a right to be upset at the murder of black people by cops? 
Why, certainly. Everybody should be upset by that, right? If cops are just willy-nilly killing people that got accused of something or whatever, anything, anything, then everybody should be upset about it or, or maybe not upset, but definitely not complicit with it, right? But then you don't go and start screaming slogans at everybody, like, everybody did this. No, everybody didn't do that. Only certain people have badges and guns go around killing people and getting by with it, primarily. So, I understand the anger, but direct the anger at where it's, it's cause. But wait a minute, there's some hypocrisy here because who kills more black people than all other people combined? Other black people. Okay, so are you, are you directing anger at them? Are you screaming your slogan to your fellow uh, racemen? <laughs> you know? So see, it's hypocrisy. It's projecting. Again, we're so quick to project. Our humans are so quick to project. And then, and then go attack someone's business and tear it to pieces? How is that? How, is, how, how, how does that... See how it starts to not make sense? Again, because these groups are hijacked. Because when you submit to group think, you get involved in ignorance quite quickly and you don't even know that that's what's happening. I gotta go. Love and light. Till next time. Peace.